Now, OT at the PFD, the Pensacola Fire Department budgeted about $300,000 for overtime this year and then amended that amount to $439,000. Now, with two and a half months left in the fiscal year, the OT money is just about gone. Why the overages with overtime? The CW55's Haley Minogue spoke with the chief to find out. At first, the numbers are shocking. Just over $47,000 remained in the budget for overtime firefighters as of May 31st. That has to get Pensacola through September. It tends to happen throughout my career that there's these cycles where there'll be a, a large amount of overtime and then it'll drop down. Chief Allen noted the hiring process, saying group hiring is smarter for the department, but 25 years down the line, when those firefighters retire... They create vacancies, and instead of just being one vacancy every few months, they tend to come in groups of five to ten vacancies, and therefore our overtime budget goes up while we're promoting and hiring to fill the vacancies. When I was about to ask the chief if there were any alternatives to overtime, I saw firsthand why a minimum staffing of 28 people is required. Both of these are going. The firefighters typically work 24 hours on, then 48 off. Overtime means 48 on and only 24 off. A lieutenant said it's good money, but he's ready for fresh faces. It is hard, especially with a family and small kids. You don't get to see them as much. So we are ready for some new people. Just so it kind of takes some of the burden off of everybody else from having to work so much extra. The Pensacola Fire Department is making some hires over the upcoming weeks. They hope once they get those new firefighters in and working, those overtime hours will drop significantly. Reporting in Pensacola, I'm Haley Minogue, the CW55 News at 9. The proposed 2017 city budget includes an increase of just over $67,000 for the fire department for uniforms, software upgrades, first aid supplies, and training for the fireboat crew.